name is Claire Stepp, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the benefits of drinking green tea. So why wait? Why wait until the last minute to start preventing diseases? Why wait to start caring about your health? Especially when there is such an easy, warm, flavorful, and not to mention economically friendly method right there in your hands. I'm going to discuss a little history, some medical research from some reputable sources. I'm going to compare the benefits of coffee and explain why overall green tea is just the better choice. Green tea is the world's oldest beverage next to water and it's the most popular again next to water. According to the Chinese legend, tea was accidentally discovered by the Chinese emperor Shen Shen Nong in 2737 BC. <coughs> he was a scholar and an herbalist who believed that boiling water benefited your health before drinking it. Therefore, by his decree, everyone in his household was required to boil water before drinking it. One summer day, he was on a journey to a distant region. As him and his men stopped to rest, as required, they started to boil water. It just so happened that a nearby plant's dry leaves fell into the boiling pot. It produced a pleasing aroma, and the emperor took a sip and noticed that it was very pleasing and flavorful. He noted that it gives the body vigor. So for 3,000 years, or over 3,000 years, uh, green tea was considered a medicinal drink until about 300 AD. Green tea is indigenous in parts of China and India as well. <coughs> Green tea's scientific name is Camilla sinensis. It's an evergreen shrub that develops fragrant white five-petaled flowers. The green tea is made from its young leaves and the buds of these flowers. Studies and proven benefits. Harvard, Harvard's Women's Health Watch magazine produced, uh, published an article in 2004 saying green tea is the best food source of a group called catechins or antioxidants. Catechins are more powerful than vitamin C and E in halting oxidative damage to cells. Harvard also found that it may have disease-fighting properties. There are studies also show an association between green tea and lowering the risk of cancers such as breast, skin, lung, colon, and bladder. They also found that the antioxidants block the increase of LDL or bad cholesterol and actually increase your good cholesterol or HDL. The University of Maryland Medical Center also published an article in 2011 saying Studies also show that drinking green tea is associated with reduced risk of all-cause mortality. Maryland, uh, <clears throat> University of Maryland Medical Center also listed over 16 different kinds of diseases and cancers that green tea has proven to uh, prevent, including atherosclerosis, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, lung cancer, and pancreatic cancer. They also noted, noted its association with weight loss, diabetes, inflammatory, and liver disease. The National Cancer Institute said that many of the potential beneficial effects of tea have been attributed to the strong antioxidant activity of tea polyphenols. A Japan study did um, a study with 500 women who had stage one and two breast cancer, and they realized in studied and noticed that with increased consumption of green tea, there was lower uh, <coughs> recurrence of the disease before and after surgery. China also did a study and they <coughs> found that there was less risk of stomach, esophageal, prostate, pancreatic, and colorectal cancer. They also did 22 studies that showed that, in, um, that drinking green tea may reduce the risk of lung cancer by 18%. A Dutch study did a study with 3,000 participants and they found that there has been less severe clogging of the heart's blood vessels for those who drink more green tea. Um, as I said before, green tea is also associated with weight loss. Uh, a Japan study did a study with 240 participants over a three month period. They noticed that the more green tea the participants drank, the more fat they lost, the more weight they lost, 
um, their further decrease in blood pressure to a healthy level and um, lowered their LDL. And the Dutch study also reported a major decrease in waistlines and body weight. So for those of you who are avid coffee drinkers, um, coffee isn't technically bad for you. It's actually good for you given that you're not um, doing you know, half coffee, half cream. <laughs> um, so, but these are the major differences between coffee and green tea. Um, coffee's main ingredient is chlorogenic acid, which increases your metabolism. So for those of you who like to drink coffee, it's, um, it can also be associated with weight loss. However, green tea's main ingredient is epigallocatechin 3 gallate or EGCG. What this does is it kills deformed or irregular cells, um, as said by the American Cancer Society. A professor at McGill University, um, Tak Hang Chain, <laughs> um, in Montreal, <laughs> Uh, found that working when working with uh, synthetic EGCG that um, it shrunk prostate tumor cells in mice and he had success with that um, uh, study. Um, some other differences, um, although drinking coffee can be good for you, at the same time it can um, give you some negative effects. Um, Coffee can overproduce your adrenaline, so if any of you have ever had a big cup of coffee before you come up here and you give a speech and you're sitting here and you're starting to sweat a little bit and you're shaking and you don't really know what's coming out of your mouth, um, it can make you really jittery and, and like I said before, it can increase your metabolism and it can actually damage your teeth as well and stain them. However, green tea doesn't <coughs> make you jittery. Um, it can increase your metabolism in a healthy, um, more manageable way. It does not give you the, j the jitters and increases your adrenaline moderately and it can also have calming factors. So for those of you who like to have your daily cup of Starbucks coffee, well, the difference between getting your mocha or your frappuccino and in a grande size is about, it's usually about $3.50 or over versus you could get a more healthy and effective way of increasing your metabolism and your energy just as well and paying about $1.25 to $1.50. So if you're ever wondering to buy one more gallon of gas or get your cup of coffee, you can always just go for tea and still get your gallon of gas. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking green tea, um, they, they usually suggest about three to five cups per day and to let it steep for about three to five minutes and it um, brings out all the cations in your drink and to drink it freshly brewed. Um, stay away from instant, bottled, or decaffeinated drinks. Good health isn't, isn't just about eating right, it's about drinking right too. It's about knowing the difference between natural and artificial ingredients. Knowing you are what you eat and drink. It's about you. So enjoy your tea and enjoy your health. Thank you.